I remember my first time watching a presidential inauguration. In all honesty, I don't remember the year or who the incoming president was. There is one thing, however, that has remained with me over the years. During the ceremony, there is a statement of how there has always been a peaceful transfer of power in this country throughout every election since George Washington's presidency. That statement struck me. It struck me so much that I reflected back on American history to realize, yeah, that's right. Then I reflected on other countries throughout the world and realized that as a nation, we are at the very least unusual in having this peaceful transfer of power. To transfer power peacefully like this is a very Christian thing. One of the greatest, most awe-inspiring things we do as a nation. When Jesus' disciples try to fight the guards taking him to the cross, he tells them to stop. We also shouldn't forget that Jesus calls on us to love your enemies. As an example of that, Paul, one of the early leaders of our church, was accepted by his fellow apostles, even though he had once been their enemy. If we go all the way back in Isaiah, the prophet looks forward to a time when they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into printing hooks. Nation shall not lift sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. I hope the tradition of a peaceful transfer of power will last in this country until long after I'm dead. Ensuring that happens starts with us. As Christians, we are clearly called to a way of peace, not of violence. That doesn't mean we can't get upset about how elections turn out. We may even feel our faith compelling us to go out and protest. But whatever we do, our faith calls us to do so peacefully and safely with a listening ear towards God. I hope you all take the opportunity to vote, if you haven't done so already. I hope you let your faith continue to be a guiding principle for your political convictions as well. Most of all, I hope you will stand with me in supporting and helping to maintain a peaceful transfer of power in this country, no matter what elected position and no matter who ultimately wins.